All right, everybody, I have an update. Obviously, it's a good update because I would go if it wasn't. But um, I got my embryo status report today. And so three eggs were retrieved. Alexa, pause. She doesn't listen to me. Um, three eggs were retrieved. One of them was mature and two of them were immature. So on day zero, which is the day that they actually um, extract the eggs, retrieve the eggs, they um, did with one of them, they did the ICSI, the second one and the third one they just cultured so that they could try to like mature it, um, mature them. On day one, which is the following day, that's today, one of the um, eggs fertilized. So the one that they cultured, hold on, I'm saying this wrong. I'm confused myself. Okay, the big kahuna that they exceed yesterday has fertilized today. So we're gonna let it culture and continue. That is great news. Egg number two, um, they were actually able to mature enough that they exceed today. Egg number three, unfortunately, didn't make it, so they're going to discard it, which sounds really sad, but that's the way it works out. So today is technically day one of the embryos, and then they won't give me any updates on day, or, day three or day four because they want to keep the embryos in a stable environment to grow, so they don't really touch them for those two days. They also gave me this really handy dandy piece of paper that shows you the embryo status according to the day. So we have one of these today, um, which is a little bit exciting. It's actually very exciting. So that's the update, and the plan is that they will freeze them at day five. I will let you know when I know more. Hey everyone, happy cycle day. Not keeping track anymore. <laughs> I'm not keeping track anymore about the cycle days because um, we're not doing a transfer this month. My um, lining was a 6.6 .6 and Dr. Yillian said he likes it to be an eight. He said some centers will do it at seven, some centers will do it at nine. He says eight seems to be a good number for them. So he would like to wait to do the transfer when um, my lining is better. But there is another hiccup, which is, um, I'm gonna look over at the embryo status report and I'll show you guys it as well. Um, day zero is the day that they actually um, uh, retrieved the eggs they got three of them and on that day they were able to ICSI one of them then day one um, was the following day the egg that they ICSI'd um, fertilized so they started culturing that one um, one of the eggs had to be discarded and then the second egg well I guess this would be number three um, at this point then um, was ICSI'd so the following day, day two, they just continued to culture. Day three and four, culture. Day five, culture. So during these days, you don't really know what's happening. They don't really let you know what's happening during those days because they just want to leave the embryos alone. And then um, on day six was when we got the news, and that is that one of the embryos was um, frozen at a stage four CB, which I'll explain in a second. And then the other one arrested, meaning it just stopped developing. That's my understanding at least. And that was discarded. So that takes us down to one. Here's the, the facts about that stage four CB. What that means is that it was a fully expanded cavity. And this is what the embryologist grades it based on the appearance. Um, and they use this three part system. So the stage is stage four. It's a fully expanded cavity. The next grade is about the inner cell mass, um, which is where we got our C. You can either get an A, B, or C. A is good of fetus component, B is fair on fetus component, and C is poor. And we have C, poor. And then the third grade is um, the TE cells, which is the placenta cells, or what will turn into the placenta. And um, we got a B, which is fair. So 
I've done some research. I've been um, asking different doctors, you know, can you actually get pregnant with a 4CB? And um, while it's unlikely, it's not impossible. We are going to do another um, retrieval next month. Um, so that's good. We'll get some more eggs. And then the other th um, update that I have is that I'm going to have surgery. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in my next video. So make sure you subscribe if you want to kind of stay in the loop as to what's happening. Um, but the surgery is going to happen um, at the same cycle that we're going to be banking eggs and um, it will cause a, a minor delay in the transfer. Um, but to be honest, there would be a delay in the transfer anyways because we want to get another egg or so out of it. So that's the update. Bye.